I have to begin by tipping my imaginary hat to Mercedes-Benz India's honor for letting us drive their latest electric vehicle in this beautiful city of Gulmarg. It can't get any cleaner or greener than this. I mean, so beautiful, so silent, so peaceful, no emission. But isn't it a very weird looking car? I mean, love it or hate it, it is a part of Mercedes-Benz future. So no matter what you think about it, it is here to stay. This is the new Mercedes-Benz EQE 500. My name is Arshi Rawat, you're watching ET Auto and welcome to Gulmarg. Starting price of Rs 1.39 crore, this model rivals the BMW iX and the Audi Q8 e-tron. But there are a lot of things that makes this particular model very special and the front is where the magic begins. It is because the headlamps have 1.3 million pixels per headlamp and this radiator grill that you see up front is very iconic to Mercedes-Benz electric models. It has been carved in such a way that it is aerodynamically efficient and yes, that shows. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against this polarizing design, which kind of looks like a fish. But when you think about Mercedes-Benz SUVs, the G-Wagon comes to mind. However, this one is closer to the GLE than it is to the G-Wagon, of course. They have tried to make it more SUV-ish by allowing you to raise the ground clearance by 25 millimeters, but we'll get to that later. Now, there are individual elements like the 20-inch wheels, the scuff plates, the silver, the tapering roof line that really want to make it work. There are elements like these handlebars that automatically come out the moment you go near the vehicle or have the key in your pocket. But when you look at it together, you will either love it or maybe not that much. The no-nonsense, very clear and simple design of the EQE continues at the rear. What amps it up is this special 3D helix design that looks so beautiful when lit up. Apart from that, you just get a rear spoiler, a stop lamp and to open the boot, you have to press the logo and it automatically lifts up. The boot space is more than generous for a family of four. It can be further increased by lowering down the seats and the boot space increases to a thousand litres. They've also given a spare wheel, although it does hamper the storage a little bit, but aren't you glad that you have a spare wheel? It can't be fitted underneath the vehicle because it has the battery packs. To close it up, one button and it's down. Now the charging port is right here on the side. It's supposed fast charging and five to 100% can be finished in just 30 minutes using a DC fast charger. The Mercedes EQE 500's technology and quirks continue in the interior as well. And let's start from the elephant in the room, the 56 inch OLED display. It has everything you would possibly need. But before that, I have to mention that the information display for the driver is the best when it comes to any information displays in the entire car industry. You can completely replicate whatever you see on this screen, on this screen. Not even the maps, which I think is a very nifty feature. We don't have to look at the screen to see where you have to go. It's right here in between your RPMs and your speed. And you also get a heads up display right up at the front. Another quirk which Mercedes has with this particular car is this that the air vent is spread across this 56 inch display on the top and it also has that ambient lighting that you can set and it completely gives a very different and futuristic vibe to the cabin. It's not just the size of this particular screen that has me in splits. It uses artificial intelligence to understand and predict your next move. For example, if you call a specific person every day after you get off from work, while you're driving this car, it will prompt you to call that person. That do you want to call that person? Or it will tell you, that do you want to go to home? 
it is the next level of artificial intelligence that is taking part in these smart cars it's they're taking a front seat and i'm here for it another thing which is very important do you see this tiny square that is right here you can set your fingerprint scanner and set your particular preferences for this car so all you have to do get inside the vehicle get in your fingerprint and it will just set up your seat your particular choice of ambient lighting and what not not to forget this huge panoramic sunroof that you see on top of me you can just close it by the flick of a finger it does not have a button or anything all you have to do is just move your finger if you want to stop it just touch it it stops continue it flick it again so the future is not just electric it is full of technologies i can expect mercedes benz to give me a car that the jetsons would drive design wise these seats are so comfortable it feels like you are driving a car while sitting on a sofa the under thigh support touches my calves and i am not kidding it hugs you in place it's so soft but sturdy the headroom is amazing the side bolstering it just hugs you in place you feel that you belong here the plastic quality is just impeccable i mean yes it is a 1 and 1/2 crore car but it just oozes luxury and you are surrounded by the mr surround system so the music quality is top notch it also gets this beautiful wooden panel here in the middle that gets aluminum finish mercedes benz logos to further make it so pretty and beautiful it is your cup holder it also gets charging ports that can be hidden here and this is the key how can i not show you how beautiful this key is the start button is right here the modes are here and it also gets an air suspension that i was talking about previously you can raise it up to 25 mm if you want to go off road it does have an off road button also you wouldn't expect an electric and suv which is sprung pretty low to go off road right who in their right minds would go off road in this particular car but hey mercedes benz wants to give you one for everything in this car so if you want to go off road there is a provision for that as well let's head to the back seat the eq500 is one such car that i wouldn't mind being in the back seat of i mean look how roomy it looks especially with these white seats it gives you that impression that the cabin is so spacious and so roomy they have made so considerate inclusions in this like this holder the material quality is so nice they are nicely scooped up the leg room is amazing the head room is more than adequate the under thigh support is also great you can see three people here i think very easily because being an electric it doesn't have the standard on transmission tunnel so yeah it is very roomy other touches are these dual tone shades this silver accents lights it's just a very premium place to be in it also gets four zone climate control that is you can select what temperature do you want to be in according to your preference like every particular every specific passenger can set the temperature as they like as picturesque as gulmarg might be it is kind of forbidding me from testing the eq500 to its max potential and that is because this particular vehicle can sprint 0 to 100 in 4.9 seconds but nevertheless i have to adhere to the speed limits here and have to go down these beautiful winding roads and trust me i'm not complaining it actually tells me how comfortable and quiet this car is with a torque of but nevertheless with 858 nm of torque it goes like a missile it has 300 kilowatts of power and it is very evenly distributed all it takes is a light tap on the accelerator and it will just pin you to your seat the suspension is sprung so beautifully that it never feels stiff for a moment the air suspension works amazing i didn't even have to raise the car 25 cm because it did everything i wanted it to very effortlessly it turns beautifully and look it is a head turner now we're behind the wheel of the eqe 500 formatic globally it also gets a 350 variant 
Whereas for India, we only get the top of the line 500 per Matic variant. It has a electric motor up at the front and one at the rear as well. The power delivery is so linear, but the moment you step down and you hit on the throttle, it goes like a spaceship. It's unbelievable. Do not mind me just going very casually and gliding through these roads of Gulmarg because we really actually cannot test that it is a very, very fast car. 0 to 100 is claimed at 4.3 seconds. That's insanely fast for a car this size and stature. But Mercedes has made that happen. Now out on the straight roads of Srinagar, I'm actually surprised by how the EQE 500 performs. It is rapid in a straight line and the suspension gobbles up every road adulations with ease. 100% hand to heart. There are a lot of reasons that people don't opt for a particular vehicle. It can be because they don't like the features, they don't like how it drives. It does not have enough range, battery issues, charging issues, etc, etc. But for this one, the only reason it will be is because it costs an arm and leg and probably everything it has. At an ex-showroom price of 1.39 crores, wow, it costs a lot. But yes, if you have that much of buying capacity and you have to choose between the BMW iX, the Audis and this one, oh, you will be in a tough choice. I personally love this car. It has a 550 kilometers of charge, supports fast charging, has truck loads of technology and gimmicks. It's just awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do let us know in the comment section which particular thing do you like best about this car? Which one would you pick? The iX, the EQE 500 or the Audi? And do subscribe to the ET Auto channel.